you doers, what's up? Hello? Boy, Jeff here. And on this one, doers, it's moss farming time. These pistons right here, these are going to be used to actually push the moss blocks out of the way, collect them, and as well as clean the junk off top of them. These right here, these are for the activation system. We'll talk about that afterwards, though. You could just use an ethyl clock if you want, if you've got the materials for it. But the timing for the activation is super important because we need to make sure stone grows, okay? You are going to want to bring along some temporary blocks, too, as well. Okay. The first thing that you are going to want to do for this, put down a solid block with a dispenser on top of it, facing up just like so. And then on top of this, you're actually going to put your moss block. Then what you're going to do is around this moss block, you're just going to surround this thing with some solid blocks. You want these to be stone, though. Okay, let's just do stone for now. And then looking at this thing towards the right, you're going to build this out an extra two by two blocks like so. We're going to do this for all four sides. Okay, you should basically have a little ninja star shape just like this. Ignore my temporary blocks to get up. But now what we're going to do, this is going to be the same thing for all four sides. What you're going to do is you're going to put down two temporary blocks with two pieces of obsidian on the outside. Two pistons facing in. Glass on either side of the piston. You then you're going to take your stairs and put one on either side of the glass block. Make sure they're facing in. And then take your obsidian, run two pieces on this side and one piece on that side. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fill either one of these with some water. Put two pieces of glass on top. Two pieces of glass in the front side here. Two builder blocks on the back side above those pistons. And then take this and fill it with lava. And this right here is what you should have. Okay, we're going to do that same thing on every single side. Temporary, temporary. Obsidian, obsidian. Two pistons facing in. Glass on either side of them with your stairs facing inwards. Obsidian to the left. Our obsidian is already right there. Water, water, glass above the water, glass on the inside. Builder blocks above the pistons and then we can just repeat that two more times. But once you're all done, this is what you should have right here. Basically what's happening in this farm is we are going to be farming all of the moss that is on these outside blocks here and everything else that goes along with it too as well. Okay. Now this can be a little tricky, but what we need to do now is we need to get our nine pistons facing down with a one block gap above them. Easiest way to do this is to put a temporary block with your piston facing down and then just try to position yourself so that you can hit that corner right like that. We're going to remove this temporary block and what you should have is your nine pistons now straight over top of that center three by three area. Take your solid blocks and run a row of solid blocks above every single one of these. And that is basically it right there, doers. It seems complicated. It seems tricky. The only thing now is we need to run some redstone. It's a pretty compact build too as well. And so far, the most expensive thing is the pistons. Unless you don't have a bartering farm, you've got to spend some time in order to get this obsidian. Okay, doers, now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the redstone for this. It's actually very easy. What we're going to do is we're going to run a solid block from underneath this with a gap straight over to another solid block like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, over. Temporary block, step up, temporary block. With another step up like so. We're going to leave this one here, this one here too as well. We want this to be glass. Temporary block, step up with one more step up just like this. Okay, we can remove all of these temporary blocks now. And what you should have is just a simple ladder like so in order to step up all the way to the top. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go repeater, repeater. This one here is going to be set to the fourth tick. Redstone dust all the way up our little ladder here. We're going to round the corner up, up, up. Redstone dust all over this. And now we need to get some redstone down to these pistons down here, but they need to be on a timer. So here is what we are going to do off of the opposite corners. Okay, so this is where the redstone comes up off of this corner right here. We're going to put solid block with another solid block, and this one's going to go just over the first lava. We're going to come around, wrap it with one more right here over top of this source of lava. 
Okay, so it should look like that. Coming off the corner, we're going to do that same thing on the opposite side. Off the corner, step down. One, two, over top of the lava. Over top of the lava. Now we're going to go repeater. Repeater, right on those first step downs. We're going to set these ones all to four ticks. And then just run our redstone dust out and around. Down. Down. Out and around. Down. And we have three pieces left, so that means that I uh, gave us some extra redstone, doers. Ooh. But that is it right there, doers. That's all the redstone we need. It's lovely. Okay, now your final step left to do before we start explaining this a little bit more is we're just going to make some bone meal. 32. Look at how much that is. And once your dispenser is filled with bone meal, we are basically good to go. But here's what we're going to do. I'm only going to do one stack of bone meal for now because this, this farm is insane. And here's what happens. Once we set up the timer, this repeater here is just going to read the signal from this block. It's going to send it over and into this repeater right here, which is delayed to four ticks. Remember that? That's four ticks. Up our little ladder here, which is then going to power these pistons, breaking everything on top that does grow from the moss. Once these ones are fired, it's going to go over here to the repeaters, which these ones again, four ticks on either side. The signal is then going to go down and fire the pistons below it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cover all of the lava here with some glass. That way we don't accidentally fall into it. And then as you can see right here, we have these two kind of like open spots where items can just kind of fling out to. You want to make sure that you fill these in too as well. So there's two on all four sides. Two more right here underneath the redstone. And two more right there. So it's basically right there above the obsidian in that little gap. You want to make sure that you fill those in so that nothing escapes. And now to collect all of your stuff, starting from right here beside the repeater, we're just going to put a hopper facing down. And then we're going to run all of our hoppers around this dispenser here. Like so, running right into that. We can now put down our double chest. This is what's going to collect everything. And here is how this works, doers. So once you've got all of your hoppers and everything in, what I can do now is I can just press this button. And once I press this button, you can see that we get a little bit of moss to grow. And it all ends up down here. Now, you can see we have stone, stone, stone. If you're getting cobblestone right here in this one corner next to this redstone. Take it and reroute it so that way it doesn't get any quasi-connectivity under this piston right here. Because basically what should happen is if we move, remove this, we want stone to be there no matter what. So now if we press the button again, we're going to get moss to grow above us. It's going to get crushed, collected, and we have stone. So if you're ending up with cobblestone in that one corner, just reroute the redstone here with the same amount of blocks, just off of this glass that's right here. Now before we power this thing, what you want to do is right here in front of the pistons, where you are going to generate stone, you want to make sure that you put some glass underneath in order for the water not to flow out and kind of destroy everything down here. So if you don't have a hopper clock, that is okay. Grab a bunch of repeaters and just go one repeater, solid block, three repeaters in a row. We're going to turn the corner, leaving this one blank, solid block. Turn the corner again, and then we're going to set all of these to four ticks. Now, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to dig out one, two blocks. We're going to put a sticky piston with an observer facing down so its little red butt is up. Slime block, solid block on top of the sticky piston, lever. And that right there is everything that we should need. So now, in order to activate this thing, all we have to do is hit this lever. The signal is going to run. We're going to generate moss and all of its little goodies on top every single pull. The system itself is just going to harvest it. And as you can see, every time the red signal goes around, okay, we're firing a piece of bone meal in order to generate the moss and all of the goodies that come along with it. And it's all done within time and within sync for all of this stone right here to generate. Now we've been running, let's see for what. Okay, we've only got 28 pieces left. Check this out, doers. Oh my god. This farm is literally insane.
I mean, it's just backing up in the hoppers its own time. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate what's gonna happen if you run out of bone meal. And this is basically all that's gonna happen, doers. That's it. The farm shuts itself off. I mean, these upper pistons still fire, but you can shut that off with just a little lever. And the only thing you've got to do now is just take one piece of moss. You're going to break out the center block right here in the farm. Replace it with your moss. Replace your glass, and then you are good to go. Okay, and as you can see, doers, that wasn't even a full stack. That was not even a full stack. And look at the amount of blocks that we got from that. I mean, this, this, this is literally insane so there it is there is your moss farm that's how you do it as you can see you just fill this thing with bone meal and just let it run 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 until it runs dry but that's gonna do it for this episode doers sorry for the delay on all the hardcore episodes too leave a like don't forget to subscribe shop happy chap if you guys need anything oh we just dropped some new merch we just dropped some new merch over at the store doers so i'll leave those all in the description you should be able to see them down in the little storefront below too i'm trying to work so hard to actually produce some merch that you guys can actually wear that doesn't just have my name on it the Discord's coming back too as well. Doing giveaways on Twitter is super lame. I love all you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!